Hello again. Welcome to this lesson on using your document locker. You can navigate to your document locker from the quick navigation on the left side of your screen. Clicking the icon will take you to your document locker. Whenever you navigate to your document locker, if you have an open document request list, this message will appear. It provides a little guidance on uploading your files to the document locker or to the document request list. Generally, if the document supports the current work being performed by our professional team, you probably want to attach your file to the document request list available from your task list. If you have a file that is required for your document request list, you can click on the option, go to document request list, and it will take you there, otherwise, continue. Another message will provide you with a little more detail on the use of your document locker. Generally, your document locker is where we can securely exchange any files necessary. You can upload a copy of a tax notice you received, or upload a receipt for major purchases or sale that we need to know about, such as a house. In addition, our professional team can post files for you such as your tax return from last year, or W-2s when you need them. I think you get the idea. We will close this message for now, and explore the document locker together. There are many features here, but let's begin with uploading some files. There are two options to upload files. You can click on the upload button at the top, or drag and drop. When you drag and drop, your target to drop files is the grid, where you see the column titles, and possibly other files. Today, we will use upload. And browse to the files you want to upload. You can select any number of files to upload at the same time. The status of the upload will be displayed for you. Additionally, upon uploading files, you have an opportunity to tag them. Let's click on Tag Files, and I'll explain more on the way. Click on the plus sign to add a tag. There will be a list of tags to choose from. Tags are created by our professional teams. Locate the one that describes your file the best. I went through and added some tags. It's important to note you can add more than one tag if more than one tag describes your file. Now that the files have been uploaded and tags successfully applied, you might be asking yourself, what do they do? You can think of tags like categories for your files that will help you sort and organize your documents when you have a lot of files in your document locker. Let's see how that might work. Imagine at some point, you have over 30 files we are sharing back and forth over the years. You want to locate all the files related to your business. We will add a filter to search for them. The left panel contains a filtering option. We are going to filter by tags. Using the drop-down, we will select the tag for business. And upon applying the filter, only the files related to business will display, so you can easily find your file. To remove the filter applied, click Reset. You can use a number of different filters at the same time. For instance, you can search for all files with the business tag, and that have been uploaded in the last 30 days. So you can select a few criteria if you need to narrow down the list of files. You can also sort the entire list of files in ascending or descending order by clicking on one of the column labels. Along with the file name and associated tags, you can see who uploaded the file and the expiration date for each file. Files do not remain in the document locker forever. The expiration date indicates the last day the file will be available for you here. For files you want to save long term, we recommend you download a copy and store it on your computer or your personal cloud storage. The action menu in line with each file will allow you to download, tag, or delete the file. You can do the same actions in bulk or with more than one file at a time by selecting the check mark to the left of the file and selecting the action to apply to all the files selected. That finishes this lesson on using your document locker. Join us again for more video tutorials.